So we are really excited about adding multitasking to apps in the App Store. But how did we do it? Right? How are we adding multitasking while preserving battery life and performance? Well, we looked at the tens of thousands of apps in the App Store, and we distilled down the services that those apps need to multitask in the background. And then we implemented all those services ourselves and did so in a way that preserves battery life and performance. And now, in iPhone OS 4, we're providing those services as APIs to developers. So developers can add multitasking while the system preserves battery life and performance. We're providing seven multitasking services. Now let me walk you through this now. The first one is background audio. Now, there are a number of popular audio streaming apps on the store, but none as popular as Pandora. With 50 million registered users, 13 million of whom stream their customized internet radio stations right to their iPhones, Pandora is changing the way that people think about radio. And Pandora has a great application that a lot of our customers use, but until now, if you left that application to go to another app, the music stopped. No longer. With iPhone OS 4, Pandora can continue to play music in the background while you switch between apps. And you can even use these iPod controls on the lock screen to control Pandora. To give you a demo of how Pandora is going to take advantage of multitasking on iPhone OS 4, I'd like to invite up Pandora's founder, Tim Westergren. Tim. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, Scott, and thanks to Steve and the entire iPhone team. It's a real treat for us to share the stage with you today. I'm joined by our Chief Technology Officer, Tom Conrad, who'll be driving. Um, it's no exaggeration to say that the iPhone has single-handedly changed the trajectory of Pandora. Uh, when we launched our app in the summer of 2008, we were on a pretty good run. We had over 10 million listeners, and, and we were growing at a good clip. But the day we launched on the iPhone, everything changed. Suddenly, I could take this little guy out of my pocket and I could peruse my personal radio stations. Or I could create a new one to suit my mood. I could plug it into my car dashboard. Or I could take it to the gym. Or, or I could even dock it at home to stream Pandora through my home stereo system. It was this completely transformative moment for us because we suddenly became truly anytime, anywhere radio. Our, our growth rate almost doubled overnight. And we now add over 30,000 new listeners a day just on the iPhone. So what's the one thing that, th that can make this that much better? Background listening. So when Scott asked us to come here today, we jumped at the chance. Uh, it took our developers just one day to make Pandora fully background aware. And we'd like to show it to you now. So uh, let's say I'm on the train. I'm listening to my personalized radio station. Until now, that's all I'd be able to do. Uh, but with new, uh, the, the iPhone OS 4, I can now head over to Safari catch up on my newspaper reading. I'm going to browse over to the New York Times website and peruse some of the latest headlines. Notice the performance of the browser even with Pandora running in the background. I see the conductor coming. Let me lock the phone and put it in my pocket for a second. Pandora keeps playing. And I can now control Pandora from the lock screen. Just a quick double tap on the home button and up pop the controls. Let me skip this song. I've heard that song somewhere before. <laughs> I can't remember the name of that artist, so let me go back to, to uh, Pandora. Oh yeah, Matt Costa. I like this song. Let me buy it. I'll go buy it from iTunes. Notice that Pandora keeps playing. 25% of the 120 million hours that we stream every day are streamed over an iPhone. So we're already sending a ton of people to iTunes. Just imagine what will happen when this thing goes live. So I could spend my whole train ride like this. I could read my email, I could browse the web, I could catch up with my calendar, and all the while, my personal soundtrack just keeps spinning in the background, just like it was always meant to be. Thanks very much.
Thanks, Tim. Pandora in the background is fantastic. Our next service is Voice over IP. Now, VoIP continues to grow in popularity, led by Skype. Skype already connects more than one out of every nine international phone calls made on the planet. It's amazing. And they have a great app for the iPhone. But the problem is, up until now, if you left the app, the phone call ended. And even worse, if you weren't running the app in the foreground, you couldn't receive Skype calls. But again, all that changes with iPhone OS 4. Now, when you're on Skype, you can switch to another app, and the phone call stays on. You see you get this double high status bar to show you're still on the phone call. And even when you're not running Skype in the foreground, when you lock the phone, you can still receive Skype calls. To give you a technology demo of how they can take advantage of multitasking on iPhone OS 4, I'd like to invite up Skype's head of iPhone product development, David Ponsford. David. Thanks, thanks, okay. thanks for inviting us here today. We're very excited to be here. I'm here with John Chang, our lead iPhone developer, who's going to help me demo the Skype app today. Skype enables the world's conversations, helping people make great quality free phone calls. In just six short years, we've amassed over half a billion registered users, touching almost every country on the planet. And now, with iPhone OS 4, it's even more convenient to use Skype. Let's show you how. This is the screen I see when I first go into Skype. I can see all my contacts, and I can see those that are online with a green icon next to their name. And of course, they can see that I'm online too. Now, until today, navigating away from the Skype app meant that I'd go offline. The app would quit, and I'd no longer be able to receive chats or calls from any of my contacts. However, with iPhone OS 4, when I leave the app, I go into background. Yet, I'm still able to receive calls. Let's say I want to go to one of my favorite games. I just double click the home button, bring up the multitasking UI, and go straight to it. Now, even though I'm in a, another application, I still look online to my Skype contacts because the OS is maintaining a network connection between my iPhone and the Skype cloud. Oh, look, Aaron's calling. Now, even in another app, if someone tries to call me, I receive a notification, and I can answer it with just one tap. Hey, Aaron, are you there? Hey, David, how's it going? Pretty good. Can you just hang on one second? Yeah, sure. Great. Now, the notification you just saw was really simple to implement. Just a few dozen lines of code, and we can play our own custom sound. Uh, by the way, we're piping the sound from this iPhone through the AV system here, kind of like a, a giant speakerphone. This is a, a real Skype call. Hey, Aaron, you there? Yep, I am. Hey, I was wondering if you're interested in getting some dinner tonight. Yeah, sure. I'll just go into an app and uh, see if I can find some places. OK. OK, so you can see at the top of the screen, there's a red status bar. This shows that the Skype call is still in progress, even though the Skype app's no longer in foreground. I'm just looking up some places now, Aaron. Um, how about we go to Abacus? That sounds great. Actually, I always wanted to try that. Cool. OK, I'll send you the details in a few minutes. I'm just with some folks right now. OK, sounds good. I'll see you later. Great. Bye-bye. So Bye -bye. now I can choose to go to another application, or I can just put the phone in my pocket. In either case, the app will be in background, and I can still receive calls. Now, with iPhone OS 4, <laughs> Skype is even more convenient and useful everyone that depends on it every day worldwide. Thanks for having us here today.